Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a couple of packages that I want to show you and um, you have to excuse me because I have a cold. I did a live stream yesterday which was really exciting, I've never tried that before and the top number of viewers at uh, one single given time was 132, so very nice. But afterwards I, well I became sick, um, um, it's just snot. But I guess I can do this even though I'm a bit filled up in my head. So um, I have two packages here and first this one is from Bernard Scholz Band Shoe. I'm not saying that right, but he's he's a cool dude from Germany. I have I put tape over the address. Let's just see where he's from. Um, Über Kalkil, Über Kalkil, Deutschland, Deutschland. I can read, but he wrote to me in the comments that um, after I had put a cache controller in my server here. He, um, he found a cash controller that his company was throwing out and he asked me if I wanted it and um, well I do like getting packages so yes I, um, I got the cash controller from um, Bernd in Germany and um, we will see what's in this box right now I did show this just a little bit in my um, video yesterday my live stream but um, yeah that's my address and Bernd he has used 3.7 euro sending me this. Thank you, thank you very much. And this, get rid of the. Okay, I have had this open and I have looked at this cash controller. I just think I might be putting on this um, anti static thing if I can connect it somewhere. Um, boom, boom, boom. Here it is, and this cash controller, it goes onto the motherboard of my Lenovo X3650 Model 4 and it should give the, the RAID controller some cash to work with, including opening up for RAID 5. I already did put in a cash controller in the server and I think that maybe this one is a half gigabyte cash controller, 512 megabytes. Um, I'm a bit confused because this piece of plastic here I, I did a Google search on this number 46C9029 and that's a one gigabyte cache controller that's the same one as I have in there but on this one it says where is it 49C9027 and that's only a half gigabyte cache controller so we might go and see well, a little later but this one also comes with cables and it comes with a battery and this is not just a battery this is a capacitor battery instead of storing uh, the power on real ordinary old batteries this is stored on capacitors and this one is able to supply 13.5 volts 6.4 farad I don't know how long that lasts but well so this battery I will include with the best of the two cache controllers in the server and there is um, three cables for it I'm a bit confused about what the three cables are for they look rather similar this one just looks a little bit longer this one looks a lot longer so it might just be the length so you can well have it be short and have it be long very long so we will um, we'll install that we'll try this we'll try it out and see if uh, it's the half gigabyte cache controller and um, if it is we'll put the one gigabyte cache controller back so that's uh, that package put that over there ready for that then we have this package here which has been sent to me from the United States I bought this package on Amazon in the US but it's 
very often that Amazon don't want to ship stuff to you in Europe. So I have had help from Joe, from Joe's Playhouse. I will put something up here so you can go check out Joe's Playhouse and he has been helpful enough to forward this to me. I have of course paid for the postage but he has been very helpful uh, bringing this to the post office and uh, shipping this forward to me. And let's just have a look at what this is. It's an almost empty box with a riser card in it. And this is a PCI Express riser card assembly X16. So let's open this. Uh, I don't know if it has been opened. It looks, looks very new. And this is also for my Lenovo X3650 model 4. And this is for putting in a graphics card in that server. I can put a graphics card in it right now, but this is this should be the real good card for it. Right now, I have a riser card in there, and that has three of these X16 um, slots here. But this one is different because it only has two. And if you look here, this top one says that it's able to supply 75 watts. And this bottom one says that it's able to supply 25 watts. And if we look at the numbers in here, this one says that uh, it's a PCI Express E3 X16. And it can supply 16, 8, 4 and 1 um, lanes, bus lanes here. So this is a real X16. Down here, this, this socket is also an X16. It's only able to supply 8, 4 and 1 and 25 watts. And I do believe that the one I have in there is only able to supply the same amount as this one, even though it has three. So uh, I'm gonna be exchanging this as well. And that should make room for a good graphics card in my server. Okay, I'm booting to go into the BIOS right now so that we can see the rate controller, how much cash it has, so that we can see the change when I put in the other rate controller and see if it's the same size or less size, and also maybe if um, the battery, if that shows up as having a battery. I have no idea what I have to look for, so well, so you will be looking at this with me. Okay, I've just used a little bit of time to, to find this, and this is the, home screen in the BIOS and you have to go into system settings down into storage and there is only that storage adapter so we go in there and then we go into main menu and oh was this controller I think it was controller management and here we get some of it I think I went in the wrong place here. No, no, it's down here. Advanced controller properties. Enter. And here we get cache and memory. And here it says that it has 1024 megabytes of cache. Uh, memory thing here. And. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it says that. So. I'm guessing that if the other card is 512, we will be seeing 512 there. Also, I found that, let's see, out here, advanced controller management, we can see the different software there, manage mega rate advanced software options, and it tells us which software options that are installed with the with the rate controller and the cache controller. This uh, cache controller opens up for more features like this Mega RAID, RAID 5, and probably also this safe store, which I have no idea what that does, and cache offload unlimited. Um, I think this is, you're able to move the cache out to something else if there's something wrong with it. So, well, I'm gonna shut down the server and um, exchange some different stuff and we will go back in here and see if it has changed when we come back.
You might be able to see that it says in these white lines that this is only X8, X4 and X1. So we are going to be taking that out and putting in the other one. And that looks promising. Awesome. I need a flathead. Here's that part. I really want to use this as well, but I only have one of these metal pieces. So, just for... I need to get another one of these. Where do they hide the number for it? Well, it does say something down here, made in China. It doesn't have a number for it. Usually all Lenovo parts has model numbers. This one doesn't seem to have one. Hmm. So everybody, I need some help. Uh, where do I go buy a cheap one of these? So if you could um, find one of these metal things for a Lenovo X3650 model 4 or the IBM uh, model, same, that would be awesome. Oh, we ain't done with it. We need to put in the other card. This one only has two LEDs. Hope that's okay. I think I forgot to mention that this is actually pretty expensive. This board alone was, I think it was $120. So, wasn't cheap at all. A lot of these spare parts, well, they're not giving them away. Let's just say it that way. So, uh, we can put this down now. It's, it's ready for it. But the cash controller card is right down there. So, we have to uh, look at that first. Just remove. Okay. There is the cash controller. Can you see it? You can probably see it. Yeah. I don't think we even need to put it in. I can see from here that, so here is the other cache controller and there is some chips missing. This chip is missing and this chip is missing. So this cache controller, um, even though it's a couple of years newer, it's not as big as the other one. So this cache controller is a one gigabyte cache controller and this one should be a 512. So, well, we might as well just try it out, see see how it looks hmm I don't really like taking it out yes. they are a bit fragile they look very similar though the back of them very similar different color print but very similar yeah this is a 46C9027 and this is a 46C9029 so I do believe this one has one gigabyte of cache and the other one has 512 but let's just make totally sure by putting this in there we are and we can put see if the battery will fit this thing that should go in here and then we need to put the battery somewhere nice so ah. there's a battery compartment up here that's a long cable that is needed to go over there And that one is not very long. This one is a fair bit longer, but to start out with, I think we'll just put it somewhere, somewhere nice. Just put it here. Uh, maybe not. We'll just put it on the on the plastic here and um, see how that looks. Oh, you can't see that. It's 
it's right there. It's not gonna do anything. I had checked there is nothing metal here, so it can't short circuit anything. So that should be good. Kind of. Okay, so we'll put this riser card down. Don't want the server complaining about that. Will we? There. And I'll move everything out of the way and yes. As predicted, we are now down to 512 megabytes on the cache controller card. The cache controller does not have SSD caching. Um, that's another feature that you can actually get. And I do believe that's a software feature you can just um, add if you buy it. So let's see if all the other options are available. The software options. They look to be exactly the same, right? Yeah, they they do. So apparently the other cache controller that I had in there was twice the size. So I'll be uh, putting that in again. I was about to exchange the cache controller and I've unplugged power, but came to see that there is a green LED down here. And that's of course because now the cache controller is on its internal power here so i think i better unplug power before i uh, switch that out just to be safe right so let's see when we unplug that if power disappears otherwise we're in there power disappeared awesome okay i have mounted the other cache controller again i have the power cable the long one running this way over here, up here, around here, in behind these cables, and up into this compartment, which is the battery box. Remote battery installation box ish. So, well, it's um, it's up there. So, very nice. Out of the way. So I will uh, put in the riser card again. I just took it out to make it more manageable to uh, handle everything here. again it's making a lot of noise right now when it just stops it will slow down in just a little bit okay it just decided to slow down the, the fans so this uh, blows up when, uh, when it's full speed I have no idea why it does that but uh, well I will be happy to see if if we are back up to one gigabyte of cash in just a little bit yep we are back up to one gigabyte of flash or cache. This is actually a flash controller, but um, well, it, it calls it cache everywhere else also. So let's just um, flash cache. That's good. Well, another upgrade to my awesome server has been done, and I, I would like to really thank. Um, I'm really bad at names, but really have to thank Band for shipping this to me, digging through the trash and finding me some good parts. The cache controller I'm gonna save for when the next Lenovo X3650 Model 4 moves in. Don't know when that would be or could be. It's nice to have that laying around. And now it has its own battery, which is awesome. And I also wanna thank Joe's Playhouse for forwarding this package to me. And there is another package on the way that Joe is also forwarding for me. And I will probably have gotten it by the time that you see this video. They are uh, at least a week behind. So thank you very much to Joe's Playhouse. Do also go check out his channel. He also does videos on server stuff and hardware and software and Hyper-V and Exponology lately. So, well. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.